Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Kurt Adjustable Pintle Mount for a two and a half inch hitch. Now, this is gonna be great when towing your trailers with the Lynette ring, and this allows for a lot of adjustability. Now, if you consistently tow a trailer that's the same height every single time and you're not really swapping around, there's other options. So that way you don't have to get something as large as this on your vehicle. So having the mounting holes is really nice because when you need to adjust for a different height Lynette ring from trailer to trailer, you can do that fairly easily by changing out the bolts to whatever configuration you need. So with the 14 hole configuration, you're actually able to get six different height mounting points. And with your eight hole, you can get three. And then your four, that's gonna be mounted just there. But it's all gonna give you a 20,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. So that's a quite a bit of weight. Now before towing, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a pin tool mount that can actually support that weight as well as the vehicle itself. So check your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure that that weight rating matches what you're actually towing and that way you're not overdoing it. For example, our pintle hook here is rated at 10,000 pounds. So this is gonna be the maximum that you can tow with this configuration. So all of your components need to match the weight that you're actually pulling just to keep you safe. Now this is gonna work with any Kurt pintle mount. So that way you can know that it's gonna work on here. But if you wanna take some quick measurements, our whole spread here is gonna be three and three eighths. And then for our, our height, we're gonna have one and three quarters. So if you wanna check your pintle hook to see if it's gonna fit, you now have the specs to do that. Now this is extremely sturdy steel construction. It also has a nice black oxide powder coat finish on it. So it's gonna hold up long-term and look really good. Even if you keep it on your truck, out in the weather, it's gonna stay black and looking nice. Now, another thing here, you're gonna see the hitch pin and clip. This is not included with it. So if you're getting this plate, you're gonna to wanna to pick one of those up as well. And here we have just your standard you know, hitch pin and clip, but if you want a locking one, that way this doesn't walk away from your truck in the hands of someone else, we have locking ones available here at eTrailer as well. When picking your pintle hook, you're gonna to wanna to check any trailers that's not using a Lynette ring, and that way you can match the ball with your trailer coupler. You're also gonna to wanna to check your gross trailer weight rating. That way you're not overdoing this with a heavy trailer. So find the right fit for you. Now with our 14 hole and our eight hole, you're able to actually flip this over, and that's also gonna give you more height adjustability. Now obviously with your four hole, that's gonna be just flush with your trailer hitch receiver. Now, if you're worried about this not having clearance on your tailgate, I'm here to show you, at least on our Silverado here, we have no issues. So we're able to keep this in this position. Now in our drop position, it does hang down quite a bit, but thinking about you lifted truck owners, this is gonna be awesome because that's gonna allow you to put your pintle hook down and still make it level with your trailer, assuming that you're not too lifted up. To determine where I'm going to mount my pintle hook, I actually measured from the ground to the bottom of the Lynette ring on our trailer as it sat level. And then I came up with 19 inches. So measuring it out from the ground to the bottom where it's going to actually sit on the ball here, I found that I'm gonna go up one slot. So once you determine the height that you need, you grab your hardware and we're gonna just slide these in there. And I'm gonna back it real quick, hand tight with, I have my split washer here. And I'm just gonna kind of hand tighten these just to kind of get them started so I can get all four on. So with your three quarter inch wrench and your three quarter inch socket, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Now you want it snug and rule of thumb, tighten it down until you have your split washer nice and flush, and that should be good. Go ahead and do that on all four. Now that we have it tightened up at the height that we need, we're ready to hook up to our trailer and get to towing. 